For Mercury 150 horsepower four-stroke outboards, replacing your corrosion control anodes is something that should be done before it is completely eroded. And in this video, I'll show you how to replace them. This particular engine has four anodes, one under the transom assembly bracket. We've got two on the side of the gear case and one on the lower part of the gear case. So in this anode kit, we've got each of the four anodes and new fasteners, should we need them. Should definitely inspect the old fasteners to see if they need to be replaced. So the anodes on the transom assembly bracket take a 10 millimeter socket, and so do the ones on the sides of the gear case, but the one on the bottom of the gear case actually takes a 13 millimeter socket, and that bolt is actually located underneath this rubber seal. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that rubber seal off. Got a little extension on our socket. Found our bolt, and we're just gonna nice and easy start loosening that up. Some corrosion starting to happen here as so the anode is doing its job. We're gonna go ahead and replace it. So we'll dig into the kit here, grab our new anode. One thing to remember is that, see there's kind of a pitch on this right here? That's gonna be facing towards the boat. So we're gonna be putting it up this way. We've got one hand on the anode, cranking that bolt down. We don't wanna go too tight with it, just nice and firm. After that, we gotta go ahead and take the rubber seal and seat it back in its hole. Okay, for the anodes on the side of the gear case, we're gonna go ahead and remove that 13 millimeter socket, replace it with a 10 millimeter socket. And we're gonna need two 10 millimeter sockets because there's a nut and a bolt associated with these anodes. Okay, so the two anodes on the side of the gear case, as you can see, have a little bit of a taper to them and that's gonna align with the taper of the gear case, as you can see. If I put them in this way, that's incorrect. So, put them in that way. I've got the bolt in one hand, the other anode. Hold this one in place, push that bolt through. Still have the nut in a 10 millimeter socket. And get those firmly bolted in. So the last anode to be replaced is the transom assembly bracket. And in order to get better access to that, we're gonna actually just trim the motor up a little bit. So there's a couple things to note with the transom assembly bracket anode. There's a bottom and a top. As you can see, there's a little lip here, which will bump up against the bottom of the transom assembly bracket. And there's also these channels, and these channels are where the ground cables are gonna feed in there nice and flush. So you can see I left the fasteners and their washers on that ground cable. And then of course we'll get those ground wires seated in those little slots nice and easy. And with that, that concludes the installation of the four anodes necessary for Mercury 150 horsepower four-stroke outboards.